Ladies and gentlemen, the star of Ghost in the Shell, Scarlett Johansson. Have a seat, please. Welcome to Japan, Scarlett. Thank you. Um, how's it feel to be back in Japan? Oh, I love I love Tokyo. It's such a great city. Um, and the last time I had the chance to work here, I was much younger than today. Well, I was 17. And, uh, you know, every time I've returned here, it actually it feels familiar to me, I think, because I, I, I had those, you know, uh, very early days here. Mm, right. <laughs> so it's, a, it's a wonderful city. I love it. I see. Thank you very much. Now, um, do you, were you aware of uh, Ghosts in the Shell uh, prior to uh, being cast? No, I actually, I didn't know the material, and uh, I, when the script came to me, um, it also came with a copy of the anime, and, uh, you know, when I first saw it, I, it seemed quite daunting, um, I think because, you know, the, the anime is so philosophical, and I didn't know how it would exactly translate to a live-action film, or really what I could contribute to it exactly. Mm -hmm. um, but it was alluring. Definitely alluring. Right. Um, you, you just mentioned alluring. What was uh, alluring about the role? You played the major? You know, when I met with Rupert, and I'd, I'd been sent this pretty impressive visual presentation, it was just a absolutely magnificent. And I think you'll see the result of it um, shortly. But, uh, it, you know, we started to talk about the journey of, of the major and... and and how the character was going to be driving the story. Um, and I started to imagine that this was a character who was really living, who was really living a very unique experience of somebody who has an idea of who she thinks she was and then who she is now, the life she's living now. And then this, then the person that she feels she is this sort of gnawing, clawing feeling she has in her, in her ghost. Um, and the, that being able to kind of play these three sides, you know, we called it the sort of the ego and the super ego and the right. id. id yeah. And um, that, that was really, that was pretty enticing for me. Right, okay, so uh, I guess um, uh, what goes on inside is extremely complicated as far as uh, the character of the major is concerned, but. Um, how, how did you uh, train for, again, um, it's a very cerebral part, and yet you must be very physical. Um, what kind of training did you do for uh, this role? Um, I mean, of course, I did a lot of training just because I wanted to be able to have the, the physical presence of somebody who seemed very capable. And then, of course, I had to actually be quite <laughs> capable. And luckily, I have had a lot of fight training and weapons training for all those little Marvel movies <laughs> that I did. Um, so it, it actually comes quite in handy because the vocab you kind of know right. that physical uh -huh. vocabulary, right. and then and then did a lot of um, you know it's a lot of repetition, mm -hmm. and then a lot of tactical training which I'd never done before like room clearing and all of that stuff um, to just be as efficient with the weapon as possible. Mm -hmm. I see. Now, uh, how was it working with Rupert? You know what, Rupert and I had um, I think from the very beginning we were really dedicated to our partnership because, I mean, I, we think we both knew very early in those early days that we would have to do this walking hand in hand um, in order to maintain the integrity of the work and what we had set out, you know, this kind of mission statement that we made in the beginning. And I, I think, you know, again, when I see the pieces of the film, I see the result of that teamwork, really. So we were each other's partner, <laughs> for sure. Um, how was it working with uh, Takeshi? I, I mean, I think when you work with somebody who has been so great for such a long time, you kind of stand back and observe. And, um, you know, it's, it's interesting. I, I, uh, <laughs> I, I feel that, you know, acting, it's kind of a, you know, as Rupert was saying earlier, mm -hmm. of course, Takeshi was speaking Japanese, I was speaking English, but, um, you know, acting is such a, it's, it's human. You know, it's all about what's going in, on inside, and uh, 
you know, I felt so many complicated things, you know, in in Aramaki's presence. Mm -hmm. um, you know, sort of a feeling of you know uh, shame at times, a feeling of um, you know wanting to an eagerness to please, and then also feelings at times like a petulant child and having all of these feelings acting opposite somebody who we didn't share this language, but we share the universal language mm -hmm. is kind of, you know, this, uh, which is just the, the, the emotional, um, you know, vocabulary mm -hmm. that we have as two actors. It was, it was very mo moving. So you felt that maybe being um, professionals in theater and acting uh, kind of transcended, I guess, language. I guess you guys kind of communicated in the universal language, so to speak. Totally, absolutely. Uh, that's, the, that's the beauty, I think, of, of, of being able to work on a film as diverse as this, because you really, you know, you're working with actors from many different backgrounds, theater backgrounds. Some are, you know, are working in dance. Others are, you know, in photography. And uh, it was really, it, you know, we all shared the same, um, the kind of that connectivity that, that, right. that, that we all you know, that we, that kind of brings us together, I think. I see. Um, now, what would you say to so many fans throughout the world, uh, to all the fans of uh, Ghost in a Shell, uh, what can you tell them? What, what, what do you want them to expect? What do you want them to feel? Uh, I, I, you know, I think for me, I have such a soft spot um, for the major, of course, because I, and her, her journey of self-discovery. And I think this film for me is really, even though it's set in this explosive world with, you know, that's just extraordinary and uh, it's so visually stunning and it's so action packed, it's really, to me, a story that's it's a coming of age story um, and a story about, you know, the loss of innocence and then also the kind of rebirth that you can have from that. And I hope that the fans connect with the major the way that the way that I connected with her. <laughs> 